Now, glory to God. I said, Amen. I said, Amen. Jesus said, The works that I do, ye shall do also. Greater works than these shall you do, because, now notice that, put the emphasis on that, because I go to my Father. What's going to happen when He goes to the Father? Holy Ghost comes. That's right. Spirit of God comes. Same Spirit of God that was in Jesus is going to come in us. You get up and preach that in some churches and they'd say, Oh my God. Listen to what stuff. Don't they know, don't they know that he was talking to those disciples? He wasn't talking to us. And they get offended at that. Well, I'm saying what Jesus said. And you wouldn't hear Jesus say it because you won't hear me say it. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. And I don't believe in that prosperity message. Well, right here, John's talking about it. He said, I wish above all that you may prosper. Prosper. Yep. Yeah, but he's talking about other stuff. He ain't talking about that. Well, what's he? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, he is talking about that. He said, just as your own soul prospers. So that's the spiritual part over here. Where you're, you're prospering over here. He's talking about the, 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 the material, the, pro, the, the prosperity. God meets your needs according to his riches and glory. Well, God's got a lot of them there. You might, you know what, you need to listen because this stuff is important. And in hell, and be well. You have millions of people, lots of churches that don't even think it's God's will to even heal. Well, you could go in there preaching that and they wouldn't have you back. Well, then you wouldn't hear what Jesus said. You wouldn't hear what the Word of God is saying. And Jesus could come in your church preaching the same thing. And you'd say, I don't want that. We don't want that here. That's the kind of shape that the body of Christ is in. Yeah, there are brothers and sisters if they believe in Jesus. But look what kind of shape we're getting in. That, that, ain't, that ain't the shape the Lord said for us to be in. No, 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 no. He wants us to believe what he said. Amen. So he says here, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and to be in health even as thy soul prospers. I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you. Now you see, that truth that was in them was, was their soul prospering. See, they are prospering in this area. But, but John is saying, I want you to be in health. And I want you to prosper just like you are prospering here. The same way. You're excelling. I want, I want the health to come. I want the prosperity to come. Just like this is coming. And he says... Uh, even as thou walkest in the truth. See? And I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Boy, that's good, eh? Glory to God. Glory to God. And so he said, and this is John. Man, John's had a lot to say about Jesus. He knew him. John knows the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God is using him. He's being led by him when he says this stuff. John's not talking this out of... And if you start looking at the Word of God as this is just people, you're going down the wrong road. This might as well be just another book that some men wrote. And it's not so. These men are Spirit-led. Spirit of God-led. And they wouldn't know him if they wasn't. Amen. So they, they begin to talk that way. Glory to God. Amen. And Jesus came to deliver us from the curse of the law. And really this is what he's saying in just other words. He said, now you're beginning to grow, but I want, I want this other part to come. Amen. Somebody said, well, you know what the Bible said about having money and stuff like that. What that happened to that rich young ruler, what Jesus said. What did he say? They told him to go sell all he had. <laughs> he said, and it would be hard for anybody that trusts in their riches to enter 
into the kingdom of God. Well, the, the point is this. No trust in riches. None. You can have riches and not trust in them. And God wants us to be prosperous. There is no doubt about it, Herb. Scripture's too plain, clear on it. But He just don't want you trusting in them. We are to trust God. Only. Only. We're to trust Jesus. Only. Amen. And I tell you, the real prosperity preachers, the real ones that aren't trying to get you money, the ones that have been misguided, they're the ones trying to do it. And I like what Jesus said. Now, if Jesus, if he was anybody that had a credible ministry, don't you think it'd be the Lord, Brother Herb? If anybody was doing anything, don't you think it'd been him? It'd be him, wouldn't it? And if, if he would have been most preachers, he'd said, now, just go sell all that and bring it here and give it to the ministry. That's what they'd have told him. Yeah. You won't find Jesus doing that. He didn't do it. He did not do it. Again, was Jesus a credible ministry? Absolutely. Would, 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 it, would, it, would it have been okay to give into Jesus' ministry? You better believe it. 